Thank you, Coach. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Oakland, California. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Cleveland Browns and the Oakland Raiders. Hi again, everyone. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And, Charles, we look at the Raiders here entering play. They've got to be pleased with a start to this season. Obviously, a perfect 3-0. Three good quality wins, too. It's got people in the locker room excited. They're thinking that this could be their year. Meanwhile, for the Browns here, they, too, were winners last time out. So something's got to give here. And I love it when both teams come in off of wins. Great mindsets, and it usually leads to a really well-played game. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And he'll wind up with about six, up past the 30 to the 31. Not going to be denied. And his team is hoping that that carries over to this week as well. And nearly an interception here on their opening drive. Facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high powered, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20-point score gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So a third line as this offense gets set to take over. And on the ground they go with a running back. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. Boy, that's a lot of sirloin steak to be taken down for no gain, partner. <laughs> Are you trying to suggest that he is a huge man? He is Not a just a big, big man, big, a huge man. Big, big boy. Take that down, right? Well, that's for sure. And you know what, know what else? I didn't want to challenge him at dinner either. <laughs> now it's Tannehill. Forced out to his left. And a pretty little juke move there on a nice game. That's too quick to try and get him down. He might loft it over your head. So better to track with your man defensively than try to go up and make a stop on the quarterback. Exactly right. What you're hoping is that your guys in the front set play for a gain. And they'll go with a ground attack here. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's... Tannehill. Over the middle. Hold in by Smith-Schuster. And he's taken down inside the... Because eventually... You're going to run into their territory, and that's when they lift their chops in order to get the big hit or play on the ball. Offensively, nice execution to find a hole, make the catch. Great game he had last week. He was rightfully named AFC Offensive Player of the Week. And he shares that with his offensive line, the tight end, his fullback. He's looking for more and more of that in this game. And he will maneuver his way. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle, keep coming after him. And that is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. As his guys are in for six. And the Raiders, they're within an extra. On first down, Tannehill. And incomplete on the deep ball. Here's the ball. Tannehill now to throw. Flushed out right. Tannehill able to take off and pick up. And they'll run it here. Oh, fighting off the defender. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. You call it. Here's Tannehill. Able to get away. Throw left side. Complete to Smith-Schuster. And they'll wind up getting this with simple pitch and catch. But you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. And he was able to shed the tank playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. And that's going to be caught for a Raider touchdown. Michael Pruitt, his first. The final shot here before the break. Tannehill escaping the pressure right. Going top shelf for Smith-Schuster. And it's knocked away and incomplete. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kicks 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever they would ever turn it up. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with the football. You know, the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before, he always told his runners, 
Run around the offense. And they'll go on the ground. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. In that situation, that's almost a tendency breaker. And he'll get down to about the 26-yard line. And leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Eluding the pressure right. Open man completes it to Smith-Schuster. And down inside the field. And the run had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. And he's going to work this one down to about the good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. And he'll be brought to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Try to punch it in with Henry. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line. Responsibilities correctly this time. What we call run fits, everyone was in the right place. And he is met in his track. Here's Tannehill. In trouble, and he'll go down back at the 12. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of score. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down offensively after having time to talk it over. Here's Tannehill. Over the middle to Smith. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work. This one might top all of those. It's been a dandy as we come up on first and 10. And he can't hang on to it. That coverage, you're so focused on the man and the coverage that sometimes the ball, if it arrives, it's exactly it's what you do. It's both <laughs> because they're not mutually exclusive. They may have been at one time in football, but not anymore. You want to have that pressure. If you have a big-time pass rusher, send him after the quarterback and then make sure you blanket the field. Smith catches left side. Make sure that clock stops at every opportunity. He'll look to throw. Open man right side is Smith-Schuster complete. Still shedding tackles. Ten yards on the a drag route. Something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open. Back to throw. Dancing to his left. Good coverage downfield led to him to make those plays when the legs go ahead, right? Yeah, no doubt about it. It's, at this stage of the game, all protections, they're off. He'll get it up the They'll give it to him up the middle. And he'll keep working toward that end. Back to throw. And he's got it. It's caught for a touchdown. And they have taken the lead here in the final seconds. So for those of little faith, guess what? It got done. They now have the lead with that touchdown this late in the contest. I wonder if that was a play they were holding or a play that they just knew would work from past experience.